Ever wished you could play AAA games on a device as simple as a Raspberry Pi? Thanks to Batacera and an open source game streaming tool called Moonlight, it's now possible. Today we're diving into how you can turn your Batacera setup into a powerful game streaming machine, all from the comfort of your home. Moonlight is a game streaming tool similar to Steam Link. It allows you to stream games from a PC to a Batacera device, perfect for a Raspberry Pi or any x86-64 or ARM-based system. While Steam Link hardware was discontinued in 2018, Moonlight lives on to bridge the gap for gamers everywhere. First things first, you'll need a gaming PC to handle the heavy lifting. This computer will render game assets, manage input, and stream the video to your Batacera device. To do this, install the Sunshine server on your PC. Sunshine is the key to making Moonlight work. It compresses your game feed into low latency H.264 or HEVC video and streams it over your network. With Sunshine set up, it's time to move over to your Batacera device for the initial pairing. This part requires a bit of manual setup, so bear with me. You'll need to SSH into your Batacera box to connect it with the Sunshine server on your PC. Once SSH is ready, run the command Batacera Moonlight list to start searching for your PC on the network. You'll see something like generating certificate done. Next, you need to pair Batacera with your gaming PC. Type Batacera Moonlight pair PC IP address. It'll ask you for a pin. This will show on the Batacera screen, and you'll need to enter it on your Sunshine server's configuration web page. Once that's done, you should see successfully paired on the Batacera terminal. Now that the two devices are connected, it's time to load up your game library. Run the command Batacera Moonlight init on your Batacera to fetch and organize all your games. This script will go through your installed games, scrape some metadata, and create files that Moonlight can read. You'll find these in slash user data slash rom slash moonlight slash. It even scrapes game covers and other images to give you a polished look when browsing your games. And if you ever add new games, just run Batocera Moonlight Scrape to update your list. Now let's get the best gaming experience by fine-tuning your settings. With Batocera V34 or higher, you can configure Moonlight directly from the Advanced System Options menu. Adjust your resolution, frame rate, and bitrate to match your network and hardware capabilities. For more custom tweaks, you can create a moonlight.conf file in slash user data slash system config slash moonlight slash. Just remember, if a moonlight.conf file exists, it'll override the advanced system options. Batocera Moonlight comes with some handy shortcuts. Here are a few essential ones. For gamepads, start select L1's R1 to quit the session. Hold start to toggle mouse mode. And for keyboards, control alt shift Q to quit. Control alt shift X to toggle full screen. Keep these shortcuts in mind to quickly jump in and out of games or tweak settings on the fly. Once everything is set up, Head back to your Raspberry Pi, reboot it, and you should now see Moonlight options. Click into it to view all the games on your gaming PC. And that's it. You've now got your own game streaming setup on Batacera using Moonlight and Sunshine, turning even a humble Raspberry Pi into a powerful gaming device. Dive into your game library and play all your favorites from anywhere in your home. Let's test out some games. Now, let's get into the action-packed world of God of War Ragnarok. This game demands top-notch performance to capture the thrill of the battles, the sweeping landscapes, and the seamless storytelling. Here's how to get the best setup for streaming this AAA title on your Batacera device. Before launching, head into your Batacera's advanced system options. For God of War Ragnarok, set the resolution to 1080p and crank the frame rate to 60fps if your hardware can handle it. This will give you smoother gameplay and make those brutal fight scenes even more immersive. Once you're ready, start the game through the Moonlight menu. 
Make sure you've got your controller in hand and prepare to step into the role of Kratos like never before. The low latency streaming will make it feel as if you're playing directly on your gaming PC. And there you have it. Experience every epic battle, breathtaking Norse landscape, and heartfelt moment between Kratos and Atreus, all streamed effortlessly to your Batisera box. Streaming God of War Ragnarok has never felt so seamless. Up next, we're venturing into the wizarding world of Hogwarts Legacy. If you've been waiting to receive your letter to Hogwarts, now's your chance, streamed right to your Batisera device. Here's how to optimize your settings for a magical experience. Hogwarts Legacy is visually stunning, with an open world full of intricate details. For the best experience, set your resolution to at least 1080p, and adjust the bitrate to around 20 megabyte per second. This way you won't miss a single detail of the magical creatures, spell effects, and Hogwarts itself. When everything's set up, launch Hogwarts Legacy and dive into a world full of spells, potions, and adventure. Batisera's low latency streaming keeps the experience smooth, so your exploration of Hogwarts and the surrounding lands feels as enchanting as ever. With Moonlight, you'll experience the magic of Hogwarts right from your living room. Discover hidden secrets, dual dark wizards, and explore the legendary school of witchcraft and wizardry, all with the ease and quality you'd expect from your gaming PC. If you enjoyed this guide, 
Hit that like button and subscribe for more Batocera and retro gaming tutorials. Let us know in the comments if you got your setup working and share any tips you've discovered along the way. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.